Hey guys, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. Thanks, let's begin. The people of the poll have spoken. Let's get into some constricting, constructive criticism for this film that I'm about to review. Shall we? Monster Python. This is the 2018 released on DVD in America in 2022 creature feature from China from director writer Zan or Zane Dekai. The plot: A group of inexperienced filmmakers are shooting a movie in the jungles of China near a village. The movie is about a python on the nose much? When all of the sudden a real-life monstrous python attacks the group and those who remain head off for the as before mentioned village to have their last stand. With a somewhat similar plot to Piranaconda, I figured this could have been at the very least a fun and bloody good time. However, what we got was constant screaming and crying dumb decisions, and over-the-top humor. Also, on a technical level, this film is just all over the place. I don't care if you hate me. I don't care if you hate me at all! This is very apparent when it came to the writing. Certain characters would just disappear. It's like all of a sudden, the producer, the cast, and some of the crew suddenly either walk off the set with no repercussions later, or just flat-out leave. We are left with the director for technical supervisors of sorts, and the producer's assistant. None of the characters' names are listed on IMDb, and there are only three cast credits at this time, so I'll just go by their traits. It makes it easier for me on my part, honestly. But the director seems to be overly angry at first, always screaming and shouting at the cast and crew, but then turns into a stubborn hero. He is brave, but also shouts a lot at the others to get their butts moving. It gets old fast. Come on, come on, we gotta go! The cameraman, who is the director's brother-in-law, is the fat, whiny type who is a ball of energy, but gets picked on a lot by the other members of the crew. There is a nice moment where the director and the producer's secretary share a hug, and the fat stepbrother uh, holds the camera to film them. It's a nice little detail, which is something that is a bit hard to come by in this flick. Speaking of the secretary, she is super worried about her career and almost gets eaten or hurt several times, trying to salvage as much as she can. The characters in this movie are over the top. The boom mic operator, two of them maybe, are a couple of jerks who pick on the brother-in-law and are usually selfish. Then there's the special effects artist who is a serious scaredy cat and risks everyone's life for a stupid egg that belongs to the supposed monster python. It can be used as a prop. In fact, let's talk about that monster python. It's about 15, pushing it would be 20 feet, depending on the scene, and it is brought to life with a mixture of visual and practical effects. The scenery in the movie is appropriately tribal. The jungles have a mist to them, and the village is out of the times in a way that makes it seem archaic. The snake loves to roam around both locations, and the effects are hit or miss. The gore, the effects... There were some kills that were just wasted potential. The snake grabs a guy through a wall, and of course it was coiling around him and I was half expecting for him to go and fold forwards and get sucked through the wall in half, but he just gets constricted until a sliver of blood spills from his lips. Then there is one where a man is being constricted around a piling or 
steak or something. You've seen the scene in Mega Snake, right? I wanted his head to pop like a juicy zit, but instead we get this weird shot. There was not even a halfway decent amount of bloodshed. Some red water? I guess. The rubber snake tail whipping around did make it a bit creepy. It makes you wonder what's beyond the tail. Oh look at that, a bad CG snake. Snakes, from what I've heard, are not that hard to render. They're basically a cylinder shape that stretches for a distance. It's the head, and it's the way it moves sometimes, that's really did this one in. There are some okay shots of it slithering around, but that head is a killer in a few scenes. The part with the guy getting flung up in the air and all around in the beginning was cool, yet amusing at the same time. The motion picture soundtrack, I Weir. I had to look him up in the end credits to get his name. Composed to the music for this movie. He brings some decent bass guitar work, but other than that, it's all pretty stock. The intense violin music is pretty generic, yet it does help to amplify some action scenes. I'm not even 100% sure if this is his music. It could have been made by someone who was helping with the DVD release for all I know. Overall, thankfully, this movie is short. It ends at a little under an hour and two minutes. The film is an oddball of ideas that really didn't go anywhere. Characters are trapped in the village for about 45 minutes, and then it's over. The python apparently has a couple of mates looking for her. They come on screen and then disappear for the rest of the movie. It's just odd. I think this film had potential, yet it squandered every attempt by being cheesy entertainment. Instead, it's overly obnoxious with all its yelling and quick sequences of events that go nowhere. Seriously, people survive way too long and live through too many run-ins with the snake. It almost becomes comedic. Actually, no, it is comedic. I had to say skip this one. It does have decent cinematography and effects, but I would still avoid it to save an hour of your time. Overall, I give Monster Python a 1 out of 5. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and lie in Brian Gatto, the horror shark. Make sure to like, comment on, as well as share this video. Like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon, where even a dollar a month will help keep the channel going on strong, and I greatly appreciate it. Plus, you get access to buddy counts and other music videos that you cannot get on YouTube because of copyright and age restriction monetary support. If you want to support the channel through PayPal, it's horrorshow37 at gmail.com. I would greatly appreciate that too, but if you don't want to support me with any money, just hit that notification bell to be notified every time I make a new video, and as always, subscribe! <laughs>